What's up guys, this is Ryan Share from PCDJ again. Uh, put together this quick video uh, to showcase how you use our library. It'll be a quick overview. Uh, a lot of people have been asking uh, how to use the database, what is it, versus playlists and so forth. Uh, our library in Dex2 and Red Mobile 2 is a list style library, a playlist style library. First thing you're going to get when you op open the product uh, is a prompt to add files to your database. Uh, it will look much like when I click the add button here. Pop up with a add songs uh, dialog box. You have a few options. What you typically want to do is add your entire collection of music whether it's uh, audio, video, or karaoke files, to the database. That is your master list. That is your searchable list uh, when you want to do a global search. If you're not sure where the file is uh, in a various playlist or a favorited folder, you're going to highlight the database and do your search. I'll show you that in a second. But the first thing you want to do is add all your tunes to the database. So I'm going to click... Uh, actually, I'm not going to click Add Files. We're going to do that again. We're going to click Add Folder. It's going to open up a browse for folder window where you can navigate the contents of your drive or any uh, hard drive that is connected. Uh, I am going to, for the sake of this, go into my documents folder and grab my tunes folder. I'm going to highlight tunes and I'm going to hit OK. You're going to instantly see the database start to populate with your music. Uh, depending on the size of your library, this could take a while. Uh, I believe the folder I just added has about 18,000 files or so in it. And a way you can tell if it's finished importing your files is to scroll with your mouse to the very bottom of the, li the library here. You'll see that there's files still piling in. Uh, a good rule of thumb is to wait till that has completed. Uh, before closing the program, building any other playlists, importing any music, uh, because this is your master list and you want to make sure it imports and reads all the tag information okay. Um, as you can see, it's already importing the BPMs and the time, uh, which were file these files I previously had in the product and I, uh, I BPM scanned them, uh, which also extracts the waveform. Uh, so when you load the file, it instantly loads the waveform uh, along with the track. So I could probably show you this while this is still working. Uh, the folder probably has quite a bit more in it than I uh, anticipated. But if uh, you're in the search dialog box right here, which is where the search is, if you start typing for a song now, it's going to shorten your list. So let's see. So if I type in the artist name, the title, any part of the title of the file, like for instance, give me love. I typed in L-U-V, found that, uh, that within the title frame. Um, and you can be, pretty much search any of the, the content of the title or the artist uh, to quickly show you your search results. So it's instantaneous once your files are imported. Uh, there's no waiting for search results. You also have some handy library filters. Uh, so if you had all your audio, video, and karaoke content in your database, you can quickly view audio only by just clicking audio, video files, I guess I have a couple in there, uh, karaoke files, uh, quite a few karaoke files, and then show all. So these are just library filters so you can quickly tell what type of file format you're uh, reviewing at that point. Uh, so that is your master list. And then from here, of course, you can build playlists for events. Uh, one quick way to do it is just right click with your mouse on lists. Select new playlist, let's call it uh, Video Showcase, hit OK. You're going to see it over here at the bottom. Uh, it's going to be right there. It'll be empty, of course. So we can take files now from your database. I can highlight multiple files holding down Control or Shift if I want to grab a bunch. Or I can use the search and you know take my search results. But the idea here is that you highlight the songs you want to move to the playlist. You just drag and drop them over there. So now that's populated into the playlist. Uh, and you select it and hit OK. A lot of people use the lists for exclusively for their playlists for, for events. Uh, however, um, you can also generate playlists from existing folders on your drive. 
So a lot of people, what they'll do is they'll just go down here to the browser section at the bottom. This is where you can navigate your hard drive. Uh, and you want to really use this exclusively for adding songs to the database or playlist. You really don't want to use the Explorer area um, live. It's not really for that. It's really for pre-production and getting all your, uh, your files imported and so forth. So once you're here, you can go down to C drive, go to users, me. Documents, not downloads, documents, go down to tunes, and now I'll take my dance folder for instance, all right, so I've, I've navigated using that explorer view to a folder that I use often. A particular folder where I've got all my dance music in, in uh, stored within it. So I can right click on that, right click with your mouse right on top of the name and say new playlist from folder. Or, you know, if you hadn't previously added that particular folder to the database, you can do that right here. You can also nest it as a favorite and all that's going to do is, is uh, nest the actual explorer view. So from the explorer view, you won't be able to view any tag information. So if you want to uh, use tags, which you know we of course highly recommend, you're going to add the uh, folder to the database or the or generate a playlist from it. So for this right here, I'm going to show you to a new playlist from folder. So select new playlist from folder. It'll say new playlist was created based on the selected folder. Hit OK, and if you scroll up under lists. I should see where, oh, I'm in iTunes, sorry. Dance, right at the bottom. So I select dance and there's all the files that were in that directory on the drive. Now it'll also add any subfolders in that directory uh, to that list. So you won't actually have sub tabs here on the list, but every folder within that particular folder I added is going to be added to that level. So you're going to be able to view it there. So then, you know, for the sake of showing you here as well, when you do a search in the list, it works the same way. Search as you type and so forth. So the idea is that when you're in the, whatever list you're in is what it's going to search. So if you're in this particular playlist and you do a search, it's only going to show you the results from that playlist. I'm in the database, once again, your master list of all your files, and there really is no limitation. 120,000 files, 200,000 files, whatever it may be, should be able to handle it just fine. Uh, and then you just do your search, and bang, anything with David in it is going to show up. Thus concludes this video that was supposed to be shorter than it ended up being, and I uh, hope you learned something today.